Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different and we are going to be talking about my financial goals for 2023. So if you would like to hear what I'm planning on doing for this channel and my life, then just keep on watching. So today's video, we're going to talk about my financial goals for 2023. Um, a little over six months ago, I started adding my financial goals for 2022 and that was a show to say the least. So um, it's been such a learning experience. I've learned quite a bit and I'm probably going to ramble on about it in this video. In order for you guys to get the idea of what I'm doing, then that's what's going to happen. So, so basically six months ago, I started a new job, my first ever full-time job where I get benefits and all that. So I have been making more money than I ever have in my whole life and town that I am, it's a lot of money. So let's start with that. <laughs> I also have a part-time job and the money is okay, but the hours are really bad. So I think I might quit that job. I don't know yet, but as of right now, I have two jobs. I started trying to save money because I was making more money than I ever have in my whole life. And it got really hard, very hard because I have been just spending money on myself, spoiling myself like I never have ever before and going on vacations and all that. So things started tumbling down <laughs> to say the least um so for 2023 i'm gonna pick that back up and really try to reach my financial goals so my first goal for 2023 is to be completely credit card debt free i was credit card debt free for a few months in 2022 and it was really great um, I really didn't know how to feel about it, which was really weird. And then I got myself back into credit card debt and here I am. So round two, my main goal is to pay off all my credit card debt. I'm not going to mention like how much I have, but it is literally enough to pay off in the first three months if I literally sit down and do it. <laughs> so I really just need to sit down and budget and stick to my budget. My other, my second goal is my road to 10K. I started that series and if you would like to <laughs> see how far we've come in that series, I will link the playlist down below. I would really appreciate it. But basically we are back to square one and that kind of just makes sense at the end of the year when the holidays come around. It gets hard for 98% of Americans. That's what's going on. So <laughs> here I am back to square one. Right now I have $2,000 saved up. My goal is to have $10,000 by the end of October. So we'll see where that goes. If not, then obviously I'm gonna have 10 grand by the end of December, duh. Cause I have this little boost already. I am aware that paying off credit card debt is going to make it harder for me to reach my 10K goal. So I am going to start my mini goal to get to $5,000 thousand dollars and that will be my buffer to like get me in the habit of saving my money so that way I feel confident and have that good habit that I made that good habit instead of spending my credit cards so after I reach my five thousand dollar goal I'm going to put that in a separate account and not touch it that will be for emergencies but I really don't have emergencies right now which is so crazy because once I paid off my debt, I had emergencies pop up. But now that I have debt, I don't have an emergency. It's interesting. But anyways, that $5,000 is going to be a buffer that I will not touch. And I will save up to 10 k and then obviously go up from there. So that is what's going through my head right now. I really want to reach 10 k but in order to do that, I need to reach my first small goal, which is reaching 5K and then also paying off my credit card debt. Realistically, I should be credit card debt free by April, by the end of April, if I stick to my budget. So I'm going to try that. I think that I was just putting too much money away too quickly and that's how I started reaching into my savings, which is not good. So, so how am I going to do that? I'm going back to a bare bones budget and that is basically just paying for all your necessities for the month and then all the extra money from not spending on anything else goes into your savings and your debt. So basically I'm going to have all my money put away for my bills which without the debt and then after I get to that part I will dissect it into parts of what's going to go to debt. What's going to go to my savings and then what's going to go into my little emergency fund 
in case I have things that pop up in my checking account that I forgot. So that's what's going to happen. Like I will not be buying any more books. Wait, I can't say that. There's one book I'm going to buy in January, but that is the last book I'm going to buy for a while because I have a ton of books. I have so many books on my bookshelf. Most of them are not read. So that's what's going to happen. If I do post a reading vlog or like reading videos, it's going to be all these books I have not read. So I'm really going to push myself to not spend any money on books, not spend money on Amazon. I'm going to give myself a coffee budget. I found that when I gave myself a coffee budget, I was not spending much money on coffee. But when I um, took my coffee privileges away, I was spending money. So I'm going to give myself a coffee budget of um, $30 a month for coffee, which is roughly one coffee a weekend. And that's basically what I used to live on and do. And it worked perfectly well. So I'm going to try that again. Buying one coffee a weekend boosts my motivation and just make me feel like a normal person instead of saving all my money and not touching it and just being like a hound and but not so that's one thing I'm also going to do the next is that I have to delete all my shopping apps I just do and that includes Amazon because I'm just frivolous frivolously on the websites shopping I'm all for a sale but I should not be doing that in my spare time I should be thinking of ways of bringing in more money or like saving stuff so that's what I'm going to do and also just I'm going to work on this channel and posting a lot more because I do want to get this channel monetized so that I can make some kind of money on here I would love for that to happen that has been my ultimate dream for like eight years now and it would definitely help me out a lot if I had some money coming in from my YouTube channel just because I love YouTube so much I'm literally on it all day long so that's what I'm going to do. The next step on like showing you guys, I will be continue continuing my road to 10K videos every two weeks when I get paid and showing you putting the money in my cash envelopes. And I will also be adding in money for my savings envelope. So that would be just like a little bit of money. So I think that that will be gradually being fi be filled slower than normal, which is not quite ideal. Dave Ramsey wants your emergency fund to be filled up first, but like, I don't know. I feel like I really don't need my emergency filled up first, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to tackle my debt and tackle saving money. So, Road to 10K video that you will see in January will show a different amount of money, and I will not be putting the same amount that I used to just because that is what hurt me in the long run i was putting away way too much money and i needed to do i have something in my hair oh my gosh sorry guys and i needed to dig into my savings just to use it so i will be putting in less money and it might take me a little longer to reach my goal of 5k and then 10k but that is better than hurrying and putting in too much money to where i can't keep up with the race so i hope this all makes sense um, let me know if you guys are doing the same thing. 2023, my goal is just to be more mindful and not spend frivolously ever again. Um, I know it's going to take a long time, probably up to a year, to really learn how to be more frugal with my money. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys join me on this journey. I've been watching a bunch of budget videos and how to keep on and stay on track. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your financial plans are for 2023. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.